You guys remember the alleged migrant criminal from Times Square, don't you? But in case you haven't watched that video, I suggest you go to my YouTube channel and check it out. In fact, I'll leave the link of that masterpiece in the description of this video. And if you're not watching this on YouTube and you are on another platform, then I ask you to go to my YouTube channel at Vega Access. Believe you me, you will not be disappointed. Just when you thought this joke couldn't get any worse, now we have another very sweet and kind migrant urging his followers to pay for the bell of the 15 year old from Times Square. That is right, I am not making it up. Additionally, there's a lot of more financial advice he's been giving his uh, prospect migrant followers. And I will be breaking those down in this video as well. This will be a delight. And remember, I am adhering to the community guidelines. But I do have to say, remember that the 15 year old alleged criminal is being held without bail. And this cat is clearly not aware of that. Let me take that back because I do have two beautiful cats and they are much smarter than this. Well, that being said, let's get started. All right, so since this one has tremendous amount of information, I will let the Spanish audio be loud and clear. That way, any Spanish speaking person in the audience can verify my translation. Y bueno, mi gente, este es un llamado a todos los venezolanos que estamos en Yunay State. So here he's saying, well, my people, I am calling upon all my Venezuelans that are in the United States. Lo que estamos en Argentina, lo que estamos en Chile, lo que estamos en Ecuador, lo que estamos en Perú, lo que estamos en Bolivia, lo que estamos en Colombia, todos los venezolanos que están en Centroamérica, Capichi, y recuerden también los que están en México, por favor. Those that are in Argentina, Chile, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, all the Venezuelans that are in America and in Mexico too. Necesitamos pagar la fianza del joven que está preso ahorita, que ha cometido un supuesto crimen que realmente será liberado, ya que todos los venezolanos estaremos apoyando a la madre con dinero para que pueda pagar la fianza. We need to pay the bill of the 15 year old young guy that allegedly committed a crime because he will be freed due to all the Venezuelans supporting the mother so that she can pay the bell. Muchacho, Guys, ya let's stop going against each other of being so evil of those Venezuelans who are so evil and are throwing a bunch of crap to their own Venezuelan community. I think he's been watching my videos, guys. I don't know. What do you think? I think so. But the truth hurts, unfortunately, for him. We all need to get together. We all need to come to an accord and communicate with the mother of that young guy that is innocent. Capiche? That today he made a mistake, but he's innocent. He's just a kid that has 15 years old. 
Let's not believe that we are perfect. Yes, he made a mistake. But our duty as Venezuelans is to pay for his bail. Muchachos. That's why he's saying muchachos. Capish? Do you capish? Do you guys? That's where we are today, America. That's where we are today. And here on my platform, I call upon all the Venezuelan Americans to do the same thing I am doing, calling out the nonsense. I know some people in the comment section that our Venezuelans have apologized for these individuals and I appreciate where they're coming from, but I am not going to apologize for this. I have nothing to do with this whatsoever. In fact, I am calling it out as it is and everyone should be doing the same thing, including the Venezuelan Americans like myself. And yet here is another example of why I don't follow identity politics. None of these individuals are my people. My people are in my house, my family that I love and care for. That's about it. I don't represent any community. I'm an individual and all Americans in this country, including immigrants, should do the same thing. Thing. The moment we do that, we can stop with this identity politics nonsense and move forward as a country. But guess what, guys? This individual has been sharing his experiences as a migrant via his social media platforms with thousands of people, which obviously include migrants in America and prospect future migrants. I do understand that he has a decent amount of following, as you can imagine, from the things that he's saying. And maybe you have seen him before. Maybe not. Although I hope that you haven't seen him because it's just a shame. But a lot of people have said that he is clearly lying about most of the things that he's talking about. And he's doing it to get more views, to get more followers, and is working. Subsequently, it is time to move forward with the other set of clips that I got from some of you guys. Y bueno, mi gente, aquí me encuentro so here he seems to be in a corner somewhere and he's been known to be asking for money on the streets. So let's see what he's saying here. Bueno, mi gente, aquí me encuentro haciendo y revolucionando mi billete. Hoy sí estoy All right, my people. Here I am. Haciendo y revolucionando mi billete. Making money. I'm happy today because I achieved my goal. I made $300. And tonight I'm going to spend the whole night Fentanilo, fentanilo. You know what that means, right? I'm trying to be careful. I'm not sure how it works with these algorithms here on YouTube and TikTok, Facebook, whatever. The F word, not the cursing word, but uh, the substance abuse word. So fentanilo, okay? So he's saying that he made that money and he's going to use it on that substance for the evening. My face is so happy because I'm ready. Not like yesterday that I was so miserable. I made like 30 bucks. That was nothing, but thanks God. Look guys, all of these singles and 10 and 20, and then now it's 50, now it's $100, 120, 150, 200, 270 right here, just chilling. One car passed and I let him go, but he was going to give me like a hundred bucks. Thank you guys. I made my money back. You know, guys, fentanilo the whole evening. In God's name. That's what he said. In God's name. Capiche. Of course, capiche. And here he is uh, in a supermarket and once again recording. The caption here says, I feel proud of this government in the United States that is very kind with the help for those who need it. Muchachos. Muchachos. Guys, every week, Papa Biden 
recharges my clap card so clap is the venezuelan version of the ebt card here in america that is why he's calling it clap so that it can resonate with his venezuelan audience so muchachos this uh recharge gives me around 190 dollars and look do your math look at all of these products onions you know all the vegetables potatoes shrimps mozzarella uh, pork bistec and even smoked pork chops so muchachos i know that a lot of people are going to say but why don't you work so that you can sweat and earn it the right way he says no i'm not going to do it because i have my american child who i'm subsidizing for food it's the same thing whether i'm working for it or they're giving it to me for free it's the same thing but a lot of you guys are not ready to have this conversation and here's another clip the caption says if you're interested in help from the government vote biden joe biden and i want to thank all of the venezuelans who already have the benefit of the residency here in america to please vote for the candidate that biden chooses we don't want another candidate we need the joe biden's administration because that was the administration that let us in guys <laughs> there he's actually right the administration that has let in over or, or around two hundred thousand people from venezuela as you can see muchachos America has treated me wonderful since I'm a person from the streets. Not that I'm without a home because I have a home. And you can see that he's living somewhere that's probably being paid by the taxpayers. But I am in a situation of being in the streets. And by that, I mean that I'm from parking lot to parking lot, from road to road. And so guys nothing better than wic and if you don't know the wic is the uh, government assistance card for the stuff that he's buying right there it's an excellent application thanks god because it is being uh, administered by biden because another president wouldn't do such thing once again he's right about that Trump wouldn't play those games. So he's saying, Capiche? Muchachos, as you can see, I have some Venezuelan food here, some chicken, and of course, the milk for my daughter. She is empowered. And every month, I'll tell you in another video, but the milk, you guys know what's important about the milk here is another video and the caption says what do you think about the benefit that this government is giving all right my people i also want to show you the wick card capiche the wick card is the one that i use to buy the meals the weekly meals capiche so you understand every child that is born here in america they get a wick card muchachos this wick card gives you one thousand dollars in cash and 500 bucks for you to buy food muchachos remember that every child has the right to get food every american child has the right to get the cash every american child has the right to health care and every american child has the right to study for free muchachos remember if you have over five kids is essential you know why because that way you can put in your taxes 
three kids from your wife and let's say three kids from me. That way we'll be getting back at least $10,000 in tax returns a year. So do the math. 10K for her, 10K for me is $20,000. So muchachos, remember that the American kids here are an investment. That is correct, my friends. He said having American children are an investment. That is what this migrant is communicating to his audience. Muchachos, why do I tell you that it's an investment? Because the taxes that uh, you pay when working, they'll give it back to you at the end of the year. Capish? Capish? Oh man, wow. I need to adhere to the community guidelines. Uh, but there is one more clip, so let's continue. And on this video, you see himself, uh, his wife or girlfriend, and the child. And the caption says, uh, breaking news to all the Venezuelans, uh, fathers of American children. And he says the following. No crean Don't believe in fake news, muchachos, that they closed the border, that you no longer can come into the United States. Muchachos, come to America and come to have babies. Capiche? With them, your future is guaranteed in America. Myself, I only have one, but I am looking to have five kids so that I can reproduce myself and live comfortably with with a peace of mind because once you have your American child, your papers are guaranteed. Your stay in America is guaranteed. And I recommend all of the Venezuelans to start having babies, capiche? So that you can have your legal status here in America, capiche? And those of you ladies that are already pregnant and have five or six months, come through the jungle, capiche? So that you can give birth here in America and your life can be fixed. Just like I did it, remember? Look at this cutie pie, huh? She's beautiful. 24-7 active. And I pretend to have five more kids so that I can pay taxes. Capiche? I think he has it in reverse. He means so that he can collect more taxes. And with five more kids, I'm looking to have uh, an income of around $30,000 a month. Thank you, everyone. We know that the twist of irony is that he was the one promoting fake news. There was a lot of misinformation there. Nobody's getting $30,000 a month. That is just beyond ludicrous. Nevertheless, after watching that, I can understand now why some people say he's doing it for the views and to get followers. That does make sense but there is no denying that he is getting government assistance. Just like we cannot deny that this individual has hundreds of thousands of followers and those of them that are outside of America do not understand the process, don't know how things work around here and they will believe him. One, because he's here, Two, he's showing them the proof. And three, he has a large following. All of those things give him more recognition and legitimacy. Likewise, you know he is not the first one to be bragging about something like this. And so if you were ever wondering why some of them come here with the entitlement mentality and all of these expectations, well then, here is your answer. I have so many words to describe this individual, but I will refrain from doing that since I want to protect the video so that all of you guys can continue to share this information.
I don't want to put this guy's username in the description of my video. I don't want to give him more clout, but I'll tell you what I want to do and what I am going to do. It is my understanding that these individuals tend to have a huge network, not only on social media, but also in private apps such as WhatsApp and other platforms like that to communicate with those that are here in America, but also those that are outside looking to come. And regrettably, no one is really talking about this. I will be making an announcement very soon. I need you to subscribe or follow me. And if you can hit the notification bell, I'm not sure if YouTube has it, but if it doesn't, then at least subscribe because I need you guys to participate in this project that I'm going to be announcing very soon. I can't give you the details right now, but I'm sure some of you already get the idea of where this is going. Obviously, this project will be completely peaceful and organized, but we do need to stand up for the real misinformation that is going on right now on social media and behind social media. So please be patient and be aware that this announcement will be coming soon and each and every single one of you guys will be able to participate. And the best part is that you don't have to leave your home at all. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you do want to contribute to my channel and make any donations, I do have my cash app and it is in the description of this video. Even if it's $1, I truly appreciate it. As I always say, every dollar counts. The more that you guys support my platforms, the more that I will be able to spend time doing research, creating and editing content for you. If you are unable to make any donations, that is perfectly fine too. My content is completely free. But at minimum, I ask you to smash that like button, share the video with at least one person, subscribe, it helps the algorithm so that more people can find this information. And of course, let me know what you think in the comment section below.